Welcome everyone to my tutorial series on the Helix text editor. This is the first video, this is just for getting started here. And let me just quickly explain what is Helix. So Helix is a modal CLI text editor and the tradition of other editors like NeoVim and Cocoon. Helix follows a selection first approach, so unlike Vim, where you first choose your action and then the object you want to operate on, with Helix, selection comes first, action second. Okay, now let me quickly mention some other resources you can use to learn Helix. First of all, of course, there's the official documentation. That's this one. And by the way, I will put these links into the description of the video. And there is this one, helix-editor.vercel.app, which is also pretty good. And then, of course, there's also Helix Tutor. You can launch Helix Tutor if you type this, hx space dash dash tutor, and then you get this. And this is basically an interactive way of learning Helix. So I would definitely recommend that you not only watch these tutorials, but also do this. Okay, and here is now one of the first practical tips. How do I quit Helix? Well, simple, you just type colon, Q and then hit return. And that's how you quit Helix. And if you want to open a file in Helix, all you need to do is just type hx space and the file name, for example, this file here. And if I want to open a second file, I can just add it here and both files will be open at the same time. Like this. I can also just put a dot here or a period and that will open this current directory that I'm in, in Helix, and it will show everything in a file picker. Okay, so at the end here, let me now just quickly talk about language servers in Helix. Getting a language server to work is often very easy in Helix because a lot of them are supported by default. So you can check this out here in the official documentation. And here under language support, just click that. And here you can see all the languages that Helix supports. And here, these are the language servers. So if you see your language server here, that just means you can just install the language server and it should just work by default with Helix. No configuration required. And if you want to check that, this is how you do it. Just type hx space dash dash health. And then you get this very long list here. And if you scroll up, it's a very long list. This basically tells you the language, the language server. And as you can see, if there is a check mark here, that means I have this installed and properly configured. And if there's a cross here, then that means I don't have this language server. And if you want to check a specific language, all you need to do is Type this again and then put the language here at the end. For example, Python. If I do this here, you can see I have rough and Jetta language server for Python installed and they just work. I didn't need to configure anything because they are supported by default, it just works. Of course, there's also a way to get other language servers to work in Helix, but I will talk about that in a different tutorial. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. Let's get started. See you in the next video. Bye.